Conservative and the media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion, joined by Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. I'm talking about Jeremy Lin, and I'm talking to all the Jeremy Lin and Lin Sinny fans all around the world. This is NBA. This was the Rockets versus the Heat, and this game was super exciting in my personal opinion. First of all, personal opinion only. We're not allowed to facts, not casting any person, all for entertainment purpose only. Please check this claim. This game was, like, super exciting, dude. I mean, it came down. It was 113-110, but, I mean, you know, the Heat had the lead, then the Rockets had the lead, and and it was just looking so good there. And there was just so many, I mean, there was so much going on here. But first, I want to give uh, uh, some shouts out to some of our, our fans, some of our Jeremy Lin fans there. Uh, I, want, I want to give a shout out to Sue Ping, Michelle Chan, to, I want to give a shout out to Carrie Hong, uh, uh, to Mommy Chen, Jesse Huang, S. Ming, uh, Sue, Sue Hua Lin, Indigo. Uh, that may have translated that wrong. And uh, Minerva uh, Huang, and there's so many others. It, hopefully, I didn't uh, forget your name or anything like that. But we, you know, we love you, fans out there. We love that you love our Jeremy Lin videos. No question about it. There's also uh, a you know cool group on Facebook, the Super Nintendo's Jeremy Lin group. This is look. Jeremy Lin has fans all over the globe, and there's no doubt about it. And we are super fans here on YouTube. And Paul, I want to just dive right into this. I mean, listen. Yeah, they lost. I understand that. But, I mean, you lost to the world champions. You lost to uh, LeBron James, okay? And LBJ is a super player. I think that LBJ is the number one player in the NBA right now. So, to me, there's no embarrassment on that. It's frustrating because I felt like they could have won this game. I felt like, you know, Beard, I, I, I don't know what Beard was doing there at the end. I mean, I know Beard's awesome, but I felt like Beard wasn't setting up his shots. Really great, and you know, a little knock on Jeremy Lin. Yeah, you were wide open, you had the three, but you had a lane, you could have driven that. I, I think they should have gone for more high percentage shots, but I mean, listen, at the same time, let's not kill the excitement here because the Rockets had 12, 12 three pointers. I mean, that's insane. Everybody was hitting from the outside. Delfino, Morris, Parsons had four threes, Lynn, Beard. I mean, it was all kinds of stuff. Asik, I thought, did great. We saw a lot better team ball here. Good points, very good points, great rebounds. I think they had great fast transitions. But Lynn, let's talk about Jeremy Lynn. In my personal opinion, Jeremy Lynn really was the star of, of the game for the Rockets because he was doing so many different things. Good assist, great, good three-point shooting. He was good at creating offense, good at defending. I mean, when he was all alone, I mean, he, dude, he blocked LeBron James. It wasn't like a super block, but he was able to block it. And then he knocked the ball out, you know, when Ray Allen was going to get... Uh, an open three over there. I mean, so there was that, you know, I think he, he also, you know, created contact for the foul. He was working really hard. And again, Jeremy Lin, in my personal opinion, may not be 100% because of the knee and everything like that. So I think that, that that was great. Now, of course, Beer was doing a lot of great stuff. He was creating great offense. There was so much to like about this game for Houston Paul. I thought it was fantastic. And I just, you know, again, I don't think you'd be too upset losing to the world champion uh, Miami Heat. Look, this game was a lot closer than what I thought it was going to be because I thought this was going to be a blowout for Miami because Miami got embarrassed last night in Memphis. I did a video a report about that game, and that I said at the time that's probably the worst loss Miami will have all year. And you saw it at the start of this game where Miami was they came all out. They just tried to blow out Houston early, and they were up by like 17 points, whatever. The game looked like it was over. But Houston fought back and gave Miami everything they wanted and then some. So I'm proud of Houston for this effort. Okay, they didn't win, but that's a young team learning. And, I mean, they were just, they were rolling. I think this was what Houston can be when they're at their best. Everybody except for Lynn was a double-figure scoring for the starters, and Lynn had nine points. This was Houston. This is a glimpse of what they can be and what they will be in the time to come. I, I thought it was great. This is a team coming together. There's no doubt about it. I think there's some good things going on. Samson, I wasn't, you know, super uh, uh, happy with, with some of his coaching decisions, in my personal opinion. But look, like you said, this team is young. They're coming together. And there was tremendous offense here. Hunter, think about that. This, let's, let's flip it the other way. 110 points the Houston Rockets and Jeremy Lin in the beard uh, and all these folks scored on the defending world champs. I mean, that is tremendous. And I think they had some good defensive stands there. I think there was a lot of things going on. Listen, I mean, if 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 Bosch didn't get that, that final rebound with the foul there or whatever, we could be in a different situation. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. So there's a lot of different points in this game. I mean, you expect 
a champion like the Miami Heat to step up when they needed to, and like you said, they needed to. So I mean, I think even though this is this is a loss, I think there's so many good things that can come out of this, and I think the Jeremy Lin fans and the Houston Rocket fans and and, and Beer City fans need to be happy about this. In my personal opinion, now I know. You're gonna have a video coming up. I want. I have more reaction. There's a lot more to talk about, but this is an instant reaction, and we want to hear from you fans out there. What do you think about this? How do you think that Jeremy Lin played? What do you think about the Rockets? What do you think about how uh, Beer Sandy played? What about the rest of the team stepping up? What about Delfino? What about Morris? What about Asik? You know, tremendous Parsons with his shooting. I mean, that kind of outside shooting stuff like that. And you know, what about the Miami Heat? Bosh, just with authority. You know, getting the rebounds and getting the dunks, everything like that. LBJ. I mean, putting the team on its back. I mean, look at the second half points, everything like that. Look at the super long three point shots for LBJ. What about Ray Allen? Ray Allen, I mean, if you know, anyone had a question mark in my personal opinion about any kind of possibility that he that Ray Allen wasn't a big acquisition for this team, I think that got silenced tonight. You know, having that kind of outside you know threat there is just tremendous. I mean, when when Ray Allen was alone, he was knocking it down. D Way was doing his thing. Look, I think both these teams look good. We need to hear from you about right now. This is NBA. This is fun. Speak on it. Comments below. Please subscribe up. I'm John D. Villero, the four-time national champion. That is Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. You're watching Concern the Media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks for watching. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time, and stay tuned. We're gonna have more coverage of this exciting game between the Rockets and the Heat. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you there.